ジョーガネスジョーガネス Having to stop twice to pee every day. No, he's just, he's just like going through the motions to say that he did. Yeah. Like he's not doing anything. <laughs> And this is what I'm doing. Feels very full circle to be doing this because we used to come to this park and I'd walk around and I'd pray while I walked that we would have a baby. And now I'm trying to walk this thing out of me. Get him out. Douglas, you're in my way. Last vlog country accent. The DMs I got were hilarious. If you've never seen a vlog where, and my mama wasn't in that one, so I get why it was a little confusing. Anytime I talk to my mama, my country accent comes out. That's actually how I talk. This is a stage voice that I have here, like how newscasters like talk differently on TV. Yeah, I do that here. So I actually, that's how I sound in real life. So I'm going to try in 2022 somehow to drop the stage voice. I don't know how, because I don't know how to like, I, I, it's not like an intentional thing, but y'all were cracking me up with the comments about my country accent so fun fact that's actually how i talk um but hold on i have such a mess in here i'm taking my jewelry off now so it's a little a little bit dark um i earlier had the worst back pain ever and i like mentioned it on my instagram <laughs> so stupid a girl messaged me and you're always taught like i feel like sex ed just like failed us entirely like i didn't learn anything about the female body i did i learned that birth control is like literally your only option for contraceptives and that the moment you stop taking those basically you're going to get pregnant five seconds later um i learned that contractions feel like period cramps and apparently there's something called back labor and it's real <laughs> so i was saying earlier I was like, oh, my back pain hurts so bad and blah, blah, blah. And someone messaged me and she was like, you might want to time that because it might be back labor and, or it might be labor. And she said, it's called back labor. And I literally messaged her back and I said, is back labor like labor labor? I felt so dumb as soon as I said that. I was like, I, I need to unsend that. But she read it immediately. So I couldn't unsend it. So I called my mama and she was like, yeah, girl. She said, I got horrible back labor with you. So I timed them. They were definitely contractions in my back, but not if that's what you call them or if they're just called back labor. Um, but it what never did never lead to anything. So we went curb walking today. Excruciatingly painful. Um, would not would not recommend. But if it makes him calm, then it will work. And I think it it worked in the sense that it got him even lower because now i'm learning what lightning crotch is that's fun i this is a vlog all about the things that i didn't know about pregnancy lightning crotch back labor um sex ed has failed me greatly i learned more when i was trying to conceive this baby from the taking charge of your fertility book than i learned out of every sex ed class i ever took ever completely failed and like Fully in high school, I had a teacher who was like, if you have sex and you're not on birth control, you will get pregnant immediately. Of course, in high school, that's probably a little bit more true than a woman in her late 20s or mid 20s. But I feel like maybe we need to work on that narrative. There was also nothing mentioned about, just like in general, like health of your uterus. Like it was just like, don't have sex, you'll get pregnant. That's my TED talk. Good news is, I'm trying to clean up for my video earlier. Good news is um, a few of you guys who either like work in labor and delivery or your doulas or you're in just like anything to do with birth pregnancy um, have messaged me and said that it's actually very good that not to be discouraged that apparently 50% have faced and having a very low baby at 37 weeks is a really good thing. Um, and a couple of you guys have said, because I'm really tall too, that that's like awesome that he's low. So feeling a lot better about that after yesterday, because I was really, really bummed. Like I try to always be positive and make, you know, 
make make a the best out of a bad situation or not a bad situation but like just not the most ideal like i definitely had hoped i had already started to dilate and so many of you guys were like no that's like really good so it made me feel a lot better and curb walking if you don't know what that is because i'm just at this point all over the place curb walking is literally what it sounds so you put one foot up on the curb and one foot on the ground and then you walk to like you kind of walk like this and it widens your gait and it is supposed to make the baby get low. He got low, my man. Oh, it's lightning crotches. Sirus. All right, I'm gonna put mine in a big thing because I'm supposed to drink two more. And I forgot. Oh. You said you wanted the green tea? Yeah, whatever you drink is good. Yeah, decaf green tea before bed. That's a good one. If I can actually get it in there. Vlogging. So if you're gonna sing, just know, especially that song. I, I keep footage like that for blackmail. Oh, it's so hard to bend down. Ow. This can go this. Before I leave, let me show you guys. Alright, before I leave, I wanted to show you guys this cute sweatshirt. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram feed tonight. It says, Deaf Tired, pour some coffee on me. Wearing a large. Very comfy. I have it in the t-shirt version too. Posted it on my Insta stories today. That's why you should be following me on Insta. Any creature of habit or what? My child has had his foot lodged into my ribs for the last 13 hours. It hurts so bad. Last night, I literally was laying in bed and at one point he removed his foot and it just like, he like shoved it up so high. Literally Sam was looking at my belly like this. He was like, uh, uh, um, and I was like, yep, yeah, yeah. It hurts so bad. I don't even have words, but I'm trying to be, I have the curtains tied up here. I'm trying to be as productive as possible today with my time. So I've like, I, in college, what made me most productive was time blocking. So I would say, okay, you know, two hours, I'm gonna work on this. What I don't get done, I don't get done. And it makes me super, super productive because I'm on a time schedule and I'm doing that today. So um, I have a lot of energy. A lot of people are like, oh, you should be resting. And I'm like, no, ew, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't, I feel good. So trying to be as productive as possible. So now I'm going to go get ready. Um, I gotta start the vacuum in here and I have to film today two videos, one maternity leave video, one regular. We are getting so close to being done with maternity leave videos. I'll have them done by the end of this week, um, especially hopefully if I can keep up this very good um, momentum I have going. So feeling really good, apart from the fact that there is a little teeny tiny foot shoved into my ribs. So we're good.
I was productive and then I crashed from cereal. It's my biggest. So, I have, well, I remember going to my doctor, my actual, my OB, um, right before we started trying for a baby and I was talking to her, telling her, you know, the past three months I had changed my diet. So this was March of 2021. I had changed my diet and I was feeling so much better. And I think I've told you guys the statement she made a few times about once you realize you are what you eat, she said that's when the game changes. She was like, forget what the scale says. She was like, you will feel like a different person when you change your eating habits. And I was like, that is the most true thing ever. And like, I just always had great energy and I was just, I felt so good. Last year I ate the cleanest I've ever eaten in my entire life because I, we were trying to have a baby and I just wanted to make sure my body was like good. And if I did get pregnant that I was feeding the baby everything good. And then of course I got pregnant and for the most part I was able to keep it up. But we got the third trimester and I just crave all things just junk food and I haven't craved that in so long. And so today I ate cereal, specifically Frosted Flakes, and I was looking at them and I was like, I want these so bad. Like I was, I had been actually like been craving it and I was so excited that we had it. And I was like, I know these are going to make me crash. Like if I eat the Frosted Flakes, I'm going to crash. It wasn't 30 minutes after I was like, and I had to take a nap. I literally had to take a nap to keep going throughout the day because I, I crashed from the sugar. And that happens anytime I eat a super su sugary food, but specifically like cereals, specifically frosted flakes. So I wasn't, God, what is this dog barking at? It's not easy for me to get up. I was super productive today, like very productive. He's literally not barking at anything or anyone or anybody. But just, I did end up crashing because of cereal. So, Fun little fact, I can't wait to hopefully get into postpartum and I'm sh up here you can have like, cra what is he barking at? Like there's nothing, there's nothing. Hold on, my neighbor was getting a package delivered, the nerve. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm hoping that with postpartum I can kinda shake some of those cravings and get back into a because like i genuinely used to crave healthy food like even in my first trimester i craved avocados a lot of green things um lot, it was salty but if it was green i didn't care and second trimester i did so good through all my second trimester um third i've just like i want junk food like chips and and um just ice cream and cereal and it's just like ugh makes me feel like crap, <laughs> like it hits the craving, but it makes me feel horrible later. So hopefully those go away very soon. I think they will. Um, I gotta call it here for this vlog. It's actually supposed to go up tonight. Hopefully one of these days the vlog will be meeting my son and giving birth because I am so over being pregnant. I have to get on my stories every morning and be like, by the way, I just didn't have my baby last night. Still pregnant, <laughs> still pregnant. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next vlog.